Unity has a really nice lighting setup in 3D, but for some reason if you're not using 3D lighting, here's a simple way to put drop shadows on any 2D object using shaders. To get this effect, we create a game object at runtime, offset it from the parent and attach a sprite component on it with the same sprite as the parent. But instead of rendering the sprite in full color, we pass it through a shader that turns it into a solid color. Let's start coding. Take any object in Unity with some sprite on it, add a new script component on it called shadow effect. In the start method, let's create a new game object, call it shadow, and we should store this variable outside because we will use it later. We should also make the shadow a child of our current game object. Now, as mentioned earlier, we need to offset this game object a bit. So let's change the local position and set it to some vector variable called offset. Let's make this offset a public variable to set it from the inspector and maybe give some default values. So along with the local position, we should also set the local rotation to identity. Next, let's add a sprite renderer component to the shadow object, set the sprite equal to the parent sprite. In order to do that, we need to get the parent sprite renderer component first. Now it's better if we add a required component at the top because this parent must always have a sprite renderer on it. Next, set the material to some material that we will pass through the inspector. Define the material variable above. One more important thing is to make sure that the shadow sprite is always rendered behind the main sprite. So we are setting the sorting layer name the same as the parent and we are also setting the sorting order as one behind the parent. Last thing we need is in the late update method, just make sure that the shadows always maintain its offset position. That is it, the script is complete. Now we need to create a new material, let's call it shadow material and change the shader from standard to unlit color. Also, change the main color to whichever shadow color you like. Drop this material on our script and hit play. You can see that the shadow appears on the object and stays with it. And you can also change the offset just the way you like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.